It's Saturday. You're chilling, watching some football. You fire up social media, see what the people are talking about. You might might see something you like. Maybe throw a little heart on it. Maybe you retweet it. No big deal. That's something you do. Something I do. You don't typically see coaches do it, though. And that's exactly what Dave Doran did over the weekend when he decided to hit the RT button on a fan's tweet related to Thursday's win over Virginia Tech. A thrilling come from behind victory that I watched on TV and there were still plenty of people in the building that saw it in person, but there also were a lot of people who left in the third quarter. Julio, you said to me that you had considered, like you were in the concourse going, man, why am I watching this crap? Didn't you think that? There were a lot of people leaving. Yeah. And my family was there. I, our former producer, Jonathan Rand, was there. Mm-hmm. Mikey G, uh, my co host on Pack Therapy, was there. And I was like, if I didn't have to work, I would leave. I would. I got, we have work, we have school tomorrow. Right. That you got to be up for. Right. 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 You know, my bedtime's 8 30 anyway. Yeah, I was, I was shocked you were away. So I got that. And then, you know, we have a show. I have a job. Yeah. Guess Spe- what? I have a job. Speaking of Joe, shout out to our guy, Joe Wagstaff. Yeah. He, he had t- he had gone so far to take a picture of the student section. Sure. It's like, oh man, this is how these students are leaving. And I'm like, congratulations, Joe. Gwags, you are officially old. You're now taking pictures of student sections and going, back in my day, I went to the student section uphill in the snow. And we didn't even have beer that we could buy. Okay? Yeah, for the low, low price. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, the, the, the toughy tall boys ain't cheap, but it is what it is. And I'm thinking to myself, y'all are lying about how y'all were in college. If you can even remember what you were doing in college. It's been 20 some odd years for a lot of us or more. But I'm telling you right now, if you were 18, 19 years 20, old. 25 years. I know. Don't oh remind God. me. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. Oh I'm not trying to fan gatekeep. I'm just trying to add perspective about how we don't remember what it was like when we were in college. No. And if you actually. And we, and we didn't have phones. We didn't have distractions. Right. We didn't so, have. So know. it's a Thursday night, which is traditionally in college the first night of the weekend. Yep. Because if you do your classes right, you ain't going to class on Friday. No. It's a bad third quarter of a team that their season's up in smoke at this point, given what happened with Devin Leary's injury and everything else. You just lost to Syracuse. And you, like you said, you got phones. You telling me, like, man, why am I watching this? Where's the spot? Am I going back out to the tailgate? Am I going to Pantana Bob's? Like, I don't even know where kids hang out now. But the point is, if is that still open? It's still open. <laughs> they going to East Village? <laughs> no, East Village not open. <laughs> so you're telling me that if you were in college and the game is terrible, and a certain someone texts you like, "Hey, by the way, I'm back at my apartment," you're like, "I'm out." Okay, just put yourself back in the college shoes. Yeah. So I don't want to fan gatekeep with this stuff. But Dave Dorn did want to fan gatekeep. So he retweets this from a fan. And this is what the tweet read. To all the quote-unquote fans that left early, you suck. If you left for the sole reason of the score, and why wouldn't you, then please do not come to another game this season. This team is not like other teams in the past. All caps. This pack football team never gives up. They deserve fans that stay until 0 0 0 0 go pack. Now, when fans leave, it's not an indictment on the players. Fans leave, it's more of an indictment on the coach, which is probably why Dave Dorn was in his feelings. And our Jason Jennings over at WREL asked Dave Dorn about retweeting that tweet. And here's what Dorn had to say You know, it's funny. I was sitting there and I was like, I'm going to play an experiment here. Like, if I hit, I like this. What's different than if I hit, I retweet this? You know, like, what would happen? And so I just did it. And and then this happened. So I, I'm it's pretty comical to me. Um going back ten years, man. My first press conference after we beat Louisiana Tech, I thanked the fans for coming and then pleaded with the fans to stay. This isn't new that I want our stadium full until the end of the game. Like it's not. And so, you know, I don't understand why that upset the Twitterverse. I'm sorry that I upset the Twitterverse, you know, like don't do that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm here to support our team. I'm here to make our program better. I know it doesn't always look that way when we're not scoring enough points and we're trying, you know. Um, But I I was told we really want to win a championship at this school when I got here. And Mm. and so I care deeply about this program. I care deeply about these players. And I'm going to fight for them, you know. And I think having a stadium that's full for four quarters helps you win. I think it helps you recruit too. You know, I do. I think when a recruit comes to your campus and he sees that you can sell out your games and they stay for four quarters 
and it was the coolest thing he's ever seen. That helps you recruit. And if you recruit better, you play better. And if you play better, you win more. So, yeah, I think that's an important thing for everybody to understand. And if they want to go home, they can. But I'm still going to continue to fight to make our program better. As far as the retweet thing, again, that was a fun experiment that was a success or a failure, I guess, however you look at it. But, uh, you know, I had a Saturday off. I was bored. I thought, you know, let's try something new here. But uh, mm. all good, man. Okay, then. So that's Dave Dorn explaining why he retweeted a fan that said, uh, fans that left early, you suck. Okay. Look, man. I don't mind anything that he said other than the, you know, he was tweaking a little bit there, the Twitterverse, you know. Well, you know. That was but, a little bit of a show. But, but you, well, you know what that is? That, you know, you know how many times do you see coaches or people around programs get on media members about, oh, you're just clout chasing? Yeah. Oh, you're doing it for the clicks. Did it? Did I mishear what Dave Dorn was doing? Did you? You literally did it for the clicks, dude. Well, it was, the, ex- it was the experiment. I'm sorry, the experiment, which is for the engagement. So you're cloud chasing. That's what you're doing. You're cloud chasing. Yeah. Trust me, as somebody who's tried to cloud chase, I know cloud chasing when I see it. That's what Dave Dorn is doing. He's right. He's been saying it for ten years. Yes. So say it. Why Cons- you got to retweet? He's so consistently said it. Yeah, so good for I, him. And I respect him for that. But yeah. why are you trying to do this with an experiment? Yeah, you don't it doesn't need, make any sense. You don't need the first part. You don't. You don't need to say you suck if you left early. It's a Thursday night. People have real lives. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not only that, people spend real money, Joe. Yeah. Things I've learned this college football <laughs> season. Football <laughs> tickets aren't cheap. Going to games and buying beer is not cheap. Parking yeah. is not cheap. Yeah, you were down bad after the Florida State. Okay. Game. Well, it was two weeks in a row that I, I paid know. for tickets, two weeks in a row. So that's I a know. taste of I what know. the fans have been through all of this time. We're lucky. We're lucky. He's, he's kind of telling, he's kind of taught. Nobody's mad. No, and there's also, there's also a difference between, oh, you know, I upset the Twitterverse. No, that, well, this happens oftentimes in the, in the, on well, the people online are, world. I mean, there are some people who are upset. So Look, we can't mischaracterize that part of this equation. I'm, I will go ahead and mischaracterize it because yeah. I truly believe what ends up happening in this case is, is that you put it out there and then you don't like the reaction. So you say, oh, you're mad. It's basically like classic drill energy. Now, if, if Dave Doran wants to be extremely online, if Dark Doran has entered the chat, okay, cool. But essentially what you did there is drill. I'm not owned. You're owned. I'm not owned. As you slowly turn into a corn cob. Oh, I upset the Twitterverse. No, people just dunked on you for retweeting somebody that said, you suck. And I'll further dunk on it. Okay, so let's read this tweet again. You suck. All right, so that's Dave retweet endorsement. You retweet something because you endorse it. Sorry. It equals endorsement unless you quote tweet it and you argue the point. So I think we can all agree when you retweet something that says the fans suck. Is that what he's saying? You suck? Okay, cool. Now we know how you stand on that. And then he also, this part here, this team is not like teams in the past. (laughs) Oh, okay, so you're retweeting a fan saying this is not like other teams in the past. I'm going to stand up for my team. All right, so what you're telling me is is that the 2020 team in the middle of a pandemic wasn't a resilient group that had a pretty damn good season, all things considered. Shout out to Bailey Hockman, number one Bailey Hockman fan over here. What about 2021? The team that completely changed the discourse around this program yep. going into this season because they did not quit and they stunned North Carolina at the end of the year. That team didn't quit. So, you know, sorry I upset the, tw- the Twitter. I mean, ain't nobody mad. Like I said, it's classic drill energy. You're bored? Cool, man. Stop trying to be like Elon, though, and just get the people going. Go outside and touch grass, dude. Pour another bourbon. Which, in fact, I actually would have been completely cool with. If Dave said, not only was I bored, but I had one, I had an extra poor bourbon, dude. And I was just like, ah, that's funny. And I retweeted it and a shoulder shrug rather than trying to make some big free thinking experiment out of the entire thing. Season didn't go as planned. After a year of having talked about being taken seriously, getting your respect and having a chip on your shoulder. And look, man, that's not on fans leaving early. The reason why fans are checked out is because. Even before Devin Leary got hurt, things didn't look like they were going in the right direction. You want to experiment? I don't know. Here's an experiment. Why don't you try playing aggressively in the first half rather than waiting to be down a couple of scores where then you have to start throwing it around and you come from behind? Same thing happened against Syracuse. And, you know, the little dismissive, ah, I thought we were here to win championships. Julia, who's that on? Uh, the coach, last time I checked. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's in that's in his control, right? I'm th- I'm guessing yes. Okay, I'm just. This is shot in the dark. 
I'm just asking questions. You know, I'm just I'm just getting on social media and just asking questions. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I don't know. I'm just kind of experimenting by putting that out there. Like, ah, who's that on for not winning this year for missing an opportunity in the Atlantic Division and on the fans? It's on the coaching staff. Does that sound like a coach is going to be here next year? Hmm. Hmm. Does Dave we're, Dorn? We're getting say, closer to the answer. Does aren't Dave, we? Dave Dorn sound like a coach is going to be here next year? Does not. All right. 